Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to do a VLOOKUP when the data is scattered across two or possibly three different tables. It's a pretty simple process, so let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list of the top 20 countries in the world based on population. And in the top two tables, I have it broken down into the top 10 and then the second 10. And you can see this is called table one and this is called table two. Over here is table three and all that is is the list of those 20 countries so that I could create a data validation drop down list with those as my options in that list. And I also have three different tables here and we'll call those table four, table five, and table six where I have those 20 countries broken down into three different tables. In this drop down list I can choose any country and I just have this cell G14 equal G11 so I don't have to have two different data validation drop down lists. But you can see whatever country I pull it doesn't matter which of these two tables for the top one or these three tables for the second one, it doesn't matter which country I choose, it's pulling the data correctly. Here I'm picking Iran, which is from the second table here or the third table on the second option here, and it's pulling the correct values 83,992,000. If I pull someone, say, India from the first table, you get the value of a billion 380, whether it's part of a two table list or a three table list. And the method to do this is actually very simple. All we do is use the if error function. So in this case, if error, we're doing a VLOOKUP. We're looking up the country, in this case G11, and looking it up in table one, pulling from the second column with an exact match. If that generates an error, then in an if error function, value if error is just a VLOOKUP in table two. Conceptually, it's the same thing when we have it broken into three tables. But here we use two if error functions. Look it up in table four. If that gives an error, then with this if error formula, look it up in table five. If that generates an error, then look it up in table six. So that's how simple it is to do a VLOOKUP across multiple tables in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling!